Well, he was tipped to be the king of the jungle, but in a shock eviction. Noel Edmonds was the first to be voted off by a celebrity, How which has been happen? seen as the worst vote by the British public since Brexit. <laughs> Uh, he was reportedly paid a record-breaking £600,000 with appearance, which I work out as about 50 or 60 grand a day. Which is not bad if you can get it, is it? Noel Edmonds joins us now live from the Versace Hotel on Australia's Gold Coast. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, both. Can we uh, forget talking about the money? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's talk about the money, because I have always said I would never do I'm a Celebrity no. with all the kangaroo testicle munching and so on. Unless I got paid an unfeasible amount, I can guarantee I got kicked off first, which is what's happened to You've you, just done it. which makes your day rate one of the best in TV history. <laughs> oh, Piers, please. The, <laughs> the only thing I could recommend, look, looking at you... All I'd recommend is the weight loss. <laughs> I have lost four kilos. Have you really? And, and I... Yeah, and I didn't have four kilos to lose, no. believe me. Uh, the doctors checked me out because they are so thorough on this production. I am in awe of this production. 700 people Amazing. in the jungle, all top professionals, turn this into the big ITV hit. And I'm in awe of them, and the Dr Bob in particular, who checked me over and said, yeah, that's pretty impressive, Edmunds. You've lost four kilos in ten days. <laughs> Everyone's gutted that you were kicked out first, and no-one's really sure why, because you were doing well in the jungle, you were, had a great rapport with Harry Redknapp in particular. How does it feel when you're booted out first, and why do you think it happened? Um, I was initially uh, very, very surprised. Uh, then the next emotion is great disappointment. Mm. And actually, I felt very sad um, because, honestly, I went in there um, to be honest and open and give it my best shot. And in that sense, I felt as if I went too soon. It wasn't that I had a lot planned, but I was thinking ahead to how the dynamic changes as the number of people comes down. But uh, without making any Brexit jokes, uh, I was voted out. Um, I'm disappointed about that, but this has been a lifetime experience for me. I will be eternally grateful. I've got some great memories. But do you... I mean, you know, you're so popular. We love you. You're, you know, you've presented programmes that we've adored. You're, you're big in our sort of television uh, list of legends. Is it, do you think, because younger viewers watch I'm a Celebrity and vote and perhaps you're not so familiar to them? They don't remember the Mr Blobby years? I mean, what, what do you put it down to? Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to try and over-analyse it, Susanna. I, I think, um, yes, the social media side is clearly driven by a younger audience, but you're not looking at a Noel Edmonds who's anything other than hugely grateful for the most astonishing experience. I mean, I now have a lifetime friendship with Harry and uh, Sand, who as he calls his wife, who's just around the corner here. Uh, every single person that I met Every single person in the jungle I respected for one reason or another and I've made some good friendships. It would be completely wrong for me to start saying, well, it was the young and this, that and the other. Yeah, I was first one out. I was really, really surprised and a little bit upset, but, hey, I've got over it. No, the thing that struck me was you've had a, you've had a lot of headlines in recent years about stuff involving the cosmos and so on and, and a lot of people find that difficult and don't really get their heads around mm. it and it's sort of you know is as Noel Edmonds mm. we lost him to the dark side and so on <laughs> what was clear from the jungle was that you're still the Noel Edmonds I remember uh, a very smart you know warm guy um, this must have given you hasn't it a feeling of I'd love to be back again on mm. big popular mainstream television in a more significant manner Well, that's actually uh, a very complex question, Piers, which you could have made a, a trifle more succinct, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> um, I have been dubbed as being, uh, as being a bit eccentric and a bit crazy, but, you know, it's very straightforward. I call it cosmic ordering. Billions of people around the planet call it prayer. We all have different uh, views, different terminology. 
Uh, I'm very interested in the science behind uh, positive energy, human energy. If it's good enough for NASA, it's good enough for me. And all I've ever tried uh, to encourage people to do is to be curious. I'm not an evangelist for positivity. I just say to people, look, it's worked for me. It's made me healthier. It's made me happier. And I think millions of other people could just look into it. Just look into it. Do I miss big Saturday night telly and whatever? No, I don't miss it. And remember, please, do remember, in all seriousness, I offered the British people a chance. If they had made me king of the jungle, I was going to quit. They didn't <laughs> be very afraid. There's a lot of speculation that you and Holly Willoughby can't stand each other. What's mm. the truth? Uh, the truth of the matter is I respect Holly as a broadcaster and Phil. Uh, we had a spat on this morning. I would love to have the opportunity to go on this morning again and properly talk about this subject of the human body energy system. Uh, I never, ever said pulsed electromagnetism cured my cancer. I never said that. I said it helped me tackle my cancer and we got into one of those silly peers you'll know this yeah. we got into one of those silly production squabbles which doesn't help the viewer i'd love to go again but i saw holly yesterday we hugged and there is no feud well, if it helps to boost the sun newspaper circulation <laughs> bring it on but there well, is I, no would, feud. I think the best thing is that you come on our program and not this morning to put the record straight in more yes. detail now uh, it was great seeing you there mate uh, been here a long time and i thought you came over really well i'm gutted you're not in there anymore but Thank we you wish please. you all the very best and hope to catch up again soon